So I did the beat. Pimp came in and laced the hook, but he changed some of the hook. So that kind of relinquished your creative input to it because now you ain't do the beat. Pimp on the hook. I stay fly. Webby got a verse, Fox got a verse, you feel me? Gotta stay playing me. A couple carrots in the ill old that gliss, gliss, gliss. Got a mama up in heaven that I miss, miss. At the end of the day, they made me split the publishing or the credits with him like he did something for, on the beat, but he didn't. Damn. And that was really like, that was like the last straw for me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Instance where you felt like you was a part of something that didn't, you didn't get the, you didn't, you didn't get the recognition for. I never told this story. And I know people say that on interviews all the time. Everybody say that. But it's time to tell it, <laughs> Okay. Because I, because I know you're a Pimp C fan, Oh, right? yeah, I'm a definitely right, a Pimp so, C fan. So they had, a, they had a, uh, another artist, I mean, another producer on Trill, BJ. So me and BJ, we riding from Baton Rouge to Atlanta, going to do some work, right? Now he telling me about the flies of ego idea the whole trip. You know, he talking about the hook. He's like, yeah, man, we need to do a beat. We'll, we'll, we'll get pimp on there, saying flies of ego, da, da, da. So, okay, I get to the I get to Atlanta. And this around the time where, you know what I'm saying, uh, MySpace and all that was like about to go out the door, but it was still a thing. Yeah. So BJ he met a little something off of there. He chilling with homegirl. The dude was dating one of the CEO's sister at the time. Though. Okay. So you really ain't had no business doing that. But me thinking I'm being silent, I'm like, man, that ain't my business. Exactly. By the time we come back home from Atlanta, he telling Turgon Mayor, yeah, man, I did that Flies of Eagle beat. We need to put Pimp on that. Woo, 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 woo. Mind you, he ain't touched the keyboard the whole time. Damn. So I did the beat. Pimp came in and laced the hook, but he changed some of the hook. So that kind of relinquished your creative input to it because now you ain't do the beat. Pimp on the hook. I stay fly as a eagle like Webby got a verse, Fox got a verse, you feel me? Gotta stay playing me. A couple carrots in the ill old that gliss, gliss, gliss. Got a mama up in heaven that I miss, miss. At the end of the day, they made me split the publishing or the credits with him like he did something for, on the beat, but he didn't. Damn. And that was really like, that was like the last straw for me. You were done. And that's when I, yeah, like that's when I just. Quit. What was that conversation like though when you, when they did that? Did you oh, even no, talk I, to him about no, it? No, I called him a fucking liar in the, in the, in the meeting. You and who I was in that meeting? Me, Turk, Mel, BJ. BJ was there? Yeah, I'm an honest person. So he knew that he didn't do nothing on it, but still, still didn't want to. he still roll with it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And he was like, no, man, I did some more. I made the woo woo woo. And like you, I'm like, what's, I say, what sound did you play if you helped make the beat? And he never could come with a, what he contributed to the beat. So for everybody listening, when you hear Fly as an Eagle, we're, we're Pimp and Webby, that's all me. Fly as an eagle, you just gave my people. I'm Trill Young Savage, that's one thing about me. I stay fly as an eagle, man. You now did he, that whole he thing. He came with the idea for the song. Yeah. But he wanted Pimp to say certain stuff, and Pimp changed and wrote his own version of it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I say, that would that takes that takes him out the mix now no. because you know you ain't you ain't right, you ain't do the beat, so and I just left a, a sour taste in my mouth. Yeah, I, know, I know he looked out for dude because that was the dude was dating his sister. Um, you know, so I feel like that's probably was like keeping it in the family or whatever. But they also had um the leak CD was another CD that Boosie put out. And this was around the time where he stopped turning in music to Trill because he he realized they owed a lot of money to him. Yeah. So me and him just started doing <laughs> mixtapes on the side. You know, I was producing like the whole mixtape. And so what they was doing was taking certain songs from those mixtapes that we put out, repackaging it, putting it under a dummy label, and throwing it out and keeping the money. But was that so? You tell me, integrity wise, does that sound? No, I, I don't agree with that. Okay, but I am saying, starting out young, it's tough trying to understand the business. That's all I was saying. But I understand you gonna have more skin in the game when it's your. It's your your stuff, your product. Yeah, your they made me. They made me never want to sign to anyone again. Ever. That's how bad because 
you know, in music, bro, you may you may only get one shot to shine, or you may only get one chance to really be that person, right? So if anybody takes your hard work or your intellectual property, and they and they make more off it than you, that's never a win in your situation. No, nah, I get it. So now I'm looking at it, my catalog, my publishing. It's not mine, it's my children's now. You see what I'm saying? So when I'm gone, this is what's gonna still pay them. And that's important to try to have all your business lined up, just like you wouldn't wanna pass without having life insurance. You see what I'm saying? That's right. Same way, that's like passive income. So if you got all these, and especially it's easier to make money with music now because of the streams. A lot of people don't like it, but it's easier to make your money back now. So if you have, let's say you have one song pop next month, that makes all your old songs that you did just that much more relevant now. That's right. Because you have this one song popping now, they want to figure out, okay, well, where this guy came from? Oh, he got good music. Oh, he jamming all the time. Okay. So that's why it's important to own your stuff because you never know what's going to be the one. Wow. So have you, do Turkey Mail, do they know that you weren't good with the deal and what everything that happened? Oh, yeah, they know, man. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't cut corners. I don't, I don't hide how I feel about things. Another thing that too that made me leave was, uh, you remember uh, when they did the Ghetto Stories movie? Yeah. Man, they wanted me to play a crackhead, bro. Mm. I was fresh out the military, bigger than everybody had to lay. I'm talking about in shape, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what the hell I'm going to play a crackhead in the movie for? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that was just, it was it was, it was, was time to dip. You know did you ever saying? meet Steve Bilo? I haven't. You didn't? He was down there with them too. It was uh, uh, probably was a different time, and that probably may have been was. after you left. Yeah, it probably was. Because he definitely, that's how he met Pimp, was uh, through that situation. Oh, really? Down there, yeah. I remember the day I met Pimp and Bun, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the time, Mel had this house, you know, where it was doing all the music at. It was really just like a house where everybody kind of hung out at. And uh, I, I used to go over there, all my, my equipment and stuff set up over there, and I was you know, just making beats all day, just he had these big old 15 inch Sir in Vegas that I used to love. Oh, I love them Sir in Vegas. Them all used to hit with the orange, was it that oh, yeah, orange? Yeah, it had that orange rim on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> went on, and, man. Um, uh, he told me Pimp and Bone was coming over one day. And um, I, I just remember being in that room all day. I'm like, I'm going to have to make me something hard. I so got to have it. Yeah, I'm going to let them they, boys when they have come it. In there, when they come in there, they're going to hit. They're going to. They, Gonna have to mess around with it, you know what I'm saying? Like they're not they're not walking up out of here without no music. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's just all. And I just had my mind made up. Yeah. Okay. Because I guess Pimp was really really cool with them. He was. Like that was yeah, like was. family for him. He was. That's crazy, man. Because like I said, being from Baton Rouge, how, how y'all got like y'all crazy down there with it, man? You got NBA young boy, man. You got. Uh man, it's a bunch of niggas. Got you, got, Gates, you got Gates, you got Boosie Webby, 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 Fox, Fox. Lil Fat Rest in Lil Peace. Lil Fat Rest in Peace. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E Heat, the reason you see.